namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato Samma Sambuddhasa So close your eyes. Bring your mind into your body. Feel what your body feels like. Now set your back straight, adjusting it so that it's energetic and comfortable at the same time. Take three conscious, deliberate, deep breaths. One. Two, three, adjust all the muscles inside your body so that they're all flowing between four and six. Start with your two feet. Go to your lower legs. your two thighs, your bottom muscles, your pelvic floor, your lower back and belly. your chest all the way around front and back and on the inside both of your arms both hands your neck, and your head. Keep the pelvic floor strong, shoulders down and back. Mouth closed, tip of the tongue against the top of the mouth. Now bring your sense of awareness and control to your whole body at once and make an effort to make every muscle inside your body flow between four and six, cooperating with each other so that you may flow with your whole body between four and six. Mm. 
moving towards six as you breathe in, down towards four as you breathe out. Keep your mind focused just on the task of knowing and controlling your body. Your mind will need to think about something, so just keep thinking about how to know and control your body between four and six. Note well the feelings of pleasure, pain, and neutral feeling inside your body. And note the way that you habitually respond to each of those types of feeling. And whether or not those habits are blocking you from staying between four and six. Whether you habitually swing from one extreme to the other, from between zero and three to between seven and ten. As you attempt to deliberately Will your body back towards the center? Note the kinds of thoughts that come up, that resist. The thoughts that make the body swing from one extreme to the other and block it up. Just keep working with the body for now and noting the kinds of thoughts that make staying between four and six quite difficult. And keep redirecting your thoughts back to just working very, very dispassionately with the body. Like a physiotherapist or a massage therapist dispassionately manipulating a client's body. Now while controlling your body and breath and posture to keep them all between four and six, also bring up in your mind's eye with your imagination an image of somebody that you love and feel gratitude towards. Say the Buddha or a teacher, or a parent, or a friend who's a mentor, or anybody for whom you feel deep gratitude. Imagine them as clearly as possible, that they're sitting in front of you, 
meditating with you and supporting you with their presence. And see if you can breathe and sit and imagine them in such a way that brings up a feeling and a vibration and an energy of love and gratitude inside your body. A feeling of love, gratitude and joy. And use your breath and your posture to spread and deepen that joy through every single cell of your entire body. Keep redirecting your mind towards that image adjusting your body, your breath and posture. And to get control of the internal chatter, just keep repeating the name of the person that you love and have gratitude for with every in-breath and out-breath, like this. Buddha. 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 Saying the name of the person that you have gratitude for inside your mind. It doesn't matter if your mind wanders or chatters, just keep redirecting it back to the name and back to the image and keep on regenerating the feeling of gratitude and joy. Staying on this person for another 20 breaths. Stay focused, stay on the task. Stay focused, stay on the task.
Now let's imagine somebody else. Now bring to your mind's eye, use your imagination to conjure up an image of a person that you feel neutral towards. Someone who you know, an acquaintance, but you feel neither this way nor that way about them. Let's call them the neutral person. Make that image inside your mind as clear as possible. Imagine that they're sitting right in front of you, supporting you in your meditation. See if you can generate the feeling of gratitude and joy inside your whole body as before. If you lose the feeling, then bring up the image of the person who you love and have gratitude for. Until you can get the feeling back. And then shift that image into the background and bring up the neutral person. And see if you can transfer the feeling onto the neutral person. Imagine that neutral person is meditating and you just feel grateful that they're there, that they're making an effort to meditate and thus supporting your meditation energy as well. Grateful that by being a neutral person inside your life, they give you an opportunity to practice the energy of mudita, appreciation and gratitude, towards a neutral person. Let's practice at this level for another 30 breaths. Constantly readjusting body, breath and mind, redirecting the mind towards the image of the neutral person, saying their name with in-breath and out-breath.
stay focused, stay on the task. Stay focused, stay on the task. Now let's change the image that we're bringing to mind to the image of ourselves. Imagine yourself sitting in front of yourself inside your mind's eye. There you are supporting yourself in meditation and you feel grateful. You feel love, you feel joy. Generating and feeling that love and joy with your whole mind and whole body. Generating it, spreading it out. If you find it hard to generate that feeling for yourself, then go back to the first person. Generate the feeling. And once you feel the feeling is steady again, move the first person into the background and put yourself, your own reflection, back in the foreground, inside your mind's eye and transfer the feeling to yourself. Let's do that for 30 breaths. Stay focused, stay on the task, constantly readjust body and mind. Redirect your mind to the image of yourself. Keep saying your own name with every in-breath and out-breath.
Stay focused, stay on task. Now bring up the image of a person that you have trouble with, a person who has caused you pain. Imagine them sitting in front of you, meditating with you. Choose one person. You know you've chosen the right person if you find Thinking about them painful, the causes, contraction inside your body, pain inside your body. If thinking about them makes it harder to breathe, harder to sit up straight and gracefully, Now see if you can generate the feeling of gratitude, love and joy while imagining them sitting in front of you. The trick here is to acknowledge the pain that you feel and to feel that pain deeply and to not contract against the pain, but open yourself up to the pain and feel it. And generate gratitude towards this person for giving you an opportunity to experience your own karma. And to learn from your own karma. This is the key to forgiving them, always remembering that whatever they've done to you, which has caused you pain, that pain would not be possible if it weren't for the things that you have done yourself in your life, in the past or in past lives. So there's no need to hate her. But we can feel gratitude towards them, or appreciation towards them. 
for giving us the opportunity to learn a lesson from our own mistakes in the past. And to feel compassion for them, that by their wrong deeds towards us, they generate bad karma, which will bring fruit of pain in the future, sooner or later. It is a very deep perspective. And if we contemplate it with full faith in all of our hearts, then the depth of that perspective becomes very joyous. So keep them inside your mind's eye and try to generate the joy of appreciation, the joy of compassion. If it gets too hard, if the pain, resting with the pain is too much, more than you're ready for, then go back to the image of the first person, the one who's easy to love and to be grateful towards. Generate the feeling of gratitude and rest inside that feeling. And once you feel like you've had enough rest, put the image of the first person to the breath, into the background and generate the image of the difficult person in the foreground and practice forgiveness through appreciation and compassion again. Tie the mind down with the image and by saying their name with each in-breath and out-breath. Let's do that for another 30 breaths. Stay focused, stay on the task. Stay with the pain for as long as you can. Don't resist it, work with it. Stay focused.
you know, drop the image of the difficult person and bring back to mind the image of yourself. Generating love, gratitude and joy towards yourself. Drop that image and bring up the image of the neutral person. Generating love, gratitude and joy for the neutral person. Drop the image of the neutral person and go back to the image of the person that you have gratitude for. And before you slowly open your eyes, make the resolution to carry this sense of love, gratitude and joy with you, no matter where you go, no matter who you're with, for the rest of the day. Sambe Satta Bhavan to Sukitatta. May all beings be happy. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu.